Holy! Hello, Farmer John here. I decided to show you guys how I get most of my electronic components. I go through two or three stereo receivers per year, and somehow my hearing is still okay, but the point is that there's a lot of neato stuff that I can take out of this unit. So I'll stop talking in a moment and get to the salvage operation, and afterwards I'll go over everything I got. If you stick around to the end, we'll have some questionably scientific fun too, just because we can. Alright, I've taken out everything I wanted to keep, so let's go over everything. First the big bits, uh, I'm keeping this piece of steel because I might be able to cut it into some special, you know, shapes for future projects. There's a nice big aluminum heat sink, that's awesome. I've got one of these crazy audio transformers with like 10 pins connected to it. I'll probably just end up taking this apart to get that copper strapping out. And I got this handy little fan here. Whee! Got a whole bunch of capacitors, big ones, medium sized ones, little ones. Uh, these are just standard electrolytic ones, just like these. In here we got uh, mostly ceramic capacitors. There's a plastic film capacitor here. And I think there's one, where is it? One tantalum capacitor. Got a decent amount of transistors, which are basically like funky electrical switches. A whole bunch of micro switches. Got this, uh, I believe this is a potentiometer. Got a 8 amp fuse. And a relay. A relay is kind of like a switch controlled by a smaller switch. So let's say if I wanted to turn something on with this, but this thing I want to turn on draws 10 amps, well, there's no way this switch is going to be able to handle that. But I could wire this switch to the relay and you know, I might make a video in the future where I just frig around with relays and, you know, show how they work and what their limitations are. Got a whole bunch of beefy diodes, which I'm kind of stoked about, as well as one of the light emitting variety. And because I am personally incredibly picky about the resistors that I salvage, <laughs> I only wanted two of them. Uh, everything else was just so small, I don't want to deal with it. Now, it's been a while since I've mindlessly blown up some electronic components, so... Like I promised at the beginning of the video, it's time to have some fun. This capacitor is rated at 6.3 volts. So I'm going to hook it up to the power supply and crank it up. Little transistor. Oh, it's already going.
<laughs> well, that was fun. I haven't bothered to check the value of this resistor, but we'll find out pretty quickly whether it's high or low resistance. Low resistance. Okay, that one really stinks, like, worse than the other ones. Let's do another BJT. Zener diode. Hey, it's an LED. This is an older style capacitor, so based on previous experience, we can expect it to explode. trying to oh, holy. oh I knew that was coming Wow <laughs> that was so loud oh yeah that just that just threw capacitor bits everywhere oh, 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 oh. Oh, <laughs> <laughs>